All right, hi guys, and welcome to another conversation, reading, vocabulary, pronunciation lesson, all wrapped in one. Uh, let's jump right into it today. So I'm going to open our Ingu website that we always use. I always tell listeners or viewers or whatever that you can go to Ingu by yourself, ingu.com slash app slash daily news, and they have a lot of articles for you to read in English and descriptions of certain words, some questions, so you can even practice with a friend at home. Um, yeah, very good and resourceful website. And they also offer one-on-one -on -one lessons if you want to look at that too. So let's have a look today. Ah, let's go safari. I got a bit of a inside scoop, if I could say it like that, coming from South Africa. So let's have a quick look here. <clears throat> Why you should safari in Kruger National Park. Okay, and I agree you should, but we'll probably talk about that later. As always, first off, we're going to start with our vocabulary. I'll read through the words. I'd like you to hit pause afterwards, read through, make sure you got the pronunciation down, make sure you understand each word from the definition that they give here or from the example sentence. And if you're still not sure, just type it in Google and find more info on the word. All right, so let's get to it. First word, species, a group of animals or plants that are similar to each other and can produce healthy young. Chimpanzees are an endangered species. Next word, mammal, a type of animal that typically gives birth to live young and feeds them with milk. New Zealand has no native mammals except for bats and seals. Hmm. Next one, adventure, an experience that is unusual, exciting, dangerous, etc. A whitewater rafting is my favorite adventure sport. Next word, lodge, a hotel or large house offering accommodation. We stayed at a beautiful ski lodge during our snowboard trip to Idaho. Next word, cozy, giving a feeling of warmth and relaxation. The Airbnb we stayed in over the weekend was small but cozy. And then range to vary or extend between specified amount, sizes, etc. Prices for a new Tesla Model 3 range from about $40,000 to $60,000. Okay, so let's go right into the article. Again, I'm going to read everything straight through and then. You can hit pause after each little paragraph and read that, or you can wait till the end and then read it. But again, practice reading it, you know, reading and saying the words out loud also helps with your pronunciation. You know, it's all a matter of exercising the tongue, making the rounds, the right sounds and getting more comfortable making those sounds. All right. So the more you do it, the better and easier it gets. So let's start. Why you should safari in Kruger National Park? With over 200 national parks and reserves, Africa has long been a popular safari destination for travelers. But if you are wanting to experience the best of Africa's wildlife all in one place, the Kruger National Park in South Africa is a must see. Bordering Mozambique and Zimbabwe, the huge park has an area of almost 20,000 square kilometers and is home to 147 species of mammals, 500 species of birds and 116 species of reptiles. Visited by about a million people every year, Kruger National Park offers many safari tours as well as the option of renting your own vehicle to explore the park. The park is also thought to be the best place to see Africa's famous Big Five, large mammals, lions, leopards, rhinos, elephants, and buffaloes, as well as being the most likely place in the world to see a leopard. The park also has more species of large mammals than any other reserve in Africa. But it's not just the animals that are worth the trip. The park's landscape includes mountains and rivers that create an environment perfect for those who love adventure. With so much to see, many visitors to the park may wish to stay a few nights in a safari lodge. The lodges range from luxury accommodations to cozy tents, all with a view of the park. 
The average length of a safari tour at Kruger National Park is three to five days with shared tour prices from Johannesburg starting at around $300. Okay. And then we also have, yes, just a little map. I can enlarge that. Kruger National Park is actually a very big area and uh, very nice, but we'll probably come back to that again. And then here's another few pictures, people on safari, some wild animals, elephants. Yeah, very, very nice place. So let's go to the discussion again. I'm going to read through it. I'll hit pause or you will hit pause, not me. I don't hit pause. <laughs> so you hit pause either before I answer or after. And you can answer first and listen to what I have to say. See if we agree on certain things or you can listen to me and maybe add some things or respond to how maybe something that I said as well. All right. So, number one, would you like to go on safari in Kruger National Park? Yes, I would like to go again. I have been there a few times, actually. Um, lovely place. Highly recommend. Number two, do you know anyone who's been on a safari in Africa? If so, where did they go? <laughs> well, I'm from South Africa, so most people I know have been on a safari in some form or another. Um, yeah, so many people. And and I would say South Africa is probably one of the best places to go, especially like they mentioned, if you want to see the big five, you know. Um, and we've got different different kinds of parks as well. I know there's the Edo Elephant Park in the Eastern Cape. Um, there's, there's many, and there's large ones, like the Kruger National Park is the largest one, but you get smaller parks. Um, let me just see if they ask questions. Um, yeah, so, okay, I'll talk about that a little bit. So Kruger National Park is a very big area. And what what's very nice is you see the animals in their natural environment. You know, that's how they live. They don't feed any of the animals. The lions have to catch their own gazelle or whatever. Um, they, yeah, it's just nature as it was before we interrupted um, but the thing is because it's so big sometimes it's not that easy to spot the animals first because they're very well camouflaged and uh, maybe they're just not in the area where you're driving so if you go because the kruger national park you can go with your own car and you can just drive through the park obviously don't get out <laughs> don't get out of the car even if it breaks down you call for help um and but the thing is if you go because they have these little parks that are kind of enclosed so when you go into one of these little like a camp if you go into one of these camps you can get out there they've got restaurants you can walk around whatever um but then they also have like they mentioned these lodges so you can stay there and go on a safari where they take you out something like this they take you out in a vehicle and they know kind of where the animals tend to you know if there's a watering hole the animals tend to be close to water so they would know where to go they know what time of the day is best to see the animals so go on one of these um it's probably a better better chance of seeing the animals but again just going by yourself you could still spot it um but they always say early morning late afternoon during the daytime when it's very hot the animals find cover and they just sleep so yeah but very nice go do it it's it's great but then again sorry coming back some some parks are smaller so it's it's actually very small so it's kind of like uh, almost feels like a zoo where the animals are captured and contained in a, a certain space but you can still drive with your car through there so it's not like a just a cage you know they still have a quite a big area but you guaranteed if you drive in, oh, they're going to lie just over there by the tree. Um, so that's maybe nicer if you just want to see the animal. I know they're in Johannesburg, they have a certain lion park that is in the city almost. And it's, yeah, much more likely to see animals there um, in a short period of time. If you just have a one or two days, just go there. But if you have maybe four days, 
go to the Kruger Park. All right, let's go on. Which of Africa's big five would you most like to see in the wild? Um, all of them is quite spectacular because uh, I have seen all of them. For me personally, there's something about the lions, the king of the jungle, even though it's not a jungle, but the king of the king of the low felt. <laughs> um, yeah, there's just you know the big, powerful, dangerous animal. But again, the African elephant, so big, really impressive to see. If you can see a rhino, very big, very strong. Um, buffaloes. Eh, maybe the buffaloes are not that interesting. Leopards are also very nice, beautiful animal. Uh, what was it? Leopard, buffalo, rhino, elephant, lion. Yeah. But then there's others, others as well, like the cheetah. If you go to the free state, cheetah's fastest, fastest animal, fastest land animal. Um, you get uh, giraffes. There's so many wonderful animals to see hippos a lot of things but the lion is probably like the lion okay number four have you seen any interesting animals on vacation <laughs> yeah i've seen all of them um yeah many interesting animals and one thing that i haven't and that i would love to experience is swimming with dolphins but not in some swimming pool i want to go into the wild into the ocean somewhere where the dolphins are swimming and just kind of get in there i would love to do that but that's not what i have done all right question five what interesting animals can visitors to your country expect to see everything i just mentioned but again now i live in thailand so yeah in thailand they've got tigers they've got the asian elephants um, which is a lot smaller but still very cute, very nice kind of an elephant. And I think that's the, they've got a lot of monkeys. If you go to Lopuri, it's a city close to Bangkok, about 120 kilometers. They, they have a temple and the monkeys just walk in the street and you can go there and feed them. Monkeys stole, what did they steal? Oh, we parked our car and they stole the, they unscrewed the antenna and they stole that and they grabbed a bracelet from my wife and they tried to steal my glasses so they little you know you'll see on all the buildings they have uh, like burglar bars uh yeah but very cute though i love it and they'll jump on you if you let them and go crazy okay for the discussion number one do you prefer adventurous or relaxing vacations i like both i uh Sometimes I like very adventurous things. Sometimes I just like relaxing at the beach. A bit of both. What are the most memorable trips you've taken? Oh, I've been to many great places. I must say the one trip I took to Italy was very nice. Um, went to Venice and Rome, saw the Colosseum, great food, hot chocolate. Oh, the hot chocolate, so good there. Um, yeah. And then also, uh, when I lived in China, I went to Harbin, which is in the northern parts of the country, and they have an ice festival every year. So it gets extremely cold, there, like negative 20 degrees. And they have this festival where they carve things out of ice and everything's just kind of on the street. So because it's so cold, everything just stays frozen. So that's beautiful. And in the nighttime, they put lights and things in it. So it's just amazing. Definitely also worth doing. Number three, what's the best accommodation you've stayed in? Uh, um, maybe when I went on my honeymoon, we went to Malaysia and we had a nice suite there that was almost like an apartment, if you say. And I had like a room, living room, everything, kitchen, the whole works. And it just like if you look out the windows, you saw the Petrona Towers, those towers in Malaysia. So nice city view very nice i like that all right number four who's the most well-traveled person you know where have they been oh dear i've previously worked in a in travel uh worked in a travel agency 
and there were a lot of people that traveled a lot <laughs> um yeah i'm not sure which one would have been the most well traveled person but probably somebody from that industry because they traveled a lot because they know exactly you know what where to go what to do what to see yeah number five what activities or experiences are on your bucket list Ooh, bucket list i have a few things i still want to go to the maldives i think that's just the most beautiful relaxing beach experience but I, I i don't think i want to go for that long just like four days or something because there's what are you going to do you're just swimming the whole day there's nothing else to do um but i want to go there just to see how beautiful it is so maldives i want to go skydiving i want to go on a hot air balloon and i want to see the northern lights yeah those are things that i have to do on my bucket list <laughs> All right. Well, that is it again. That's everything. So let me just close this. And uh, yeah. I wish I could sometimes hear what you guys' answers would be. It's always interesting to hear other people's, you know, experiences in life and things that they've done and seen and opinions, you know. It's good to hear different opinions as well. All right. Well, that's it then. Have a good evening. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.